guys welcome back today we will be taking a closer look at the spinnaker automatic uh, this is a Spence watch it's SP50391 but I just call it spinnaker Spence uh, it spans its name because this watch is a tribute to Edward Lee Spence he was a pioneer in underwater archaeology and had a passion to explore shipwrecks and sunken treasures and all that cool stuff i'm sure every wearer of a die watch would want to do but this guy did it he's done it all and uh, he became a legend uh, however uh, we'll see well this watch became a legend so i'm gonna take it off the wrist now and give you a closer look so yeah, in front of me I have to show you the Spinnaker Spence, and this is Automatic Diver and uh, one of the most favorite dive watches out there. Uh, this is a really cool watch, I've been wearing it for more than a week now and uh, I just want to give you my thoughts and impressions and I want to give you a little bit details, some things I like, some things I don't like and uh, but before all that, just want to start off with the specs, and this is a Spinnaker automatic mainsail uh, dive watch. Uh, it's a, they say it's a 41 and a half millimeter in diameter across the watch. Uh, I call it 42 just by looking at it. Uh, this is for me 42, but 41 and a half. Uh, the case thickness is. Uh, 16 millimeters and just because of this tall bezel um, of course uh, this is a stainless steel watch 31 6L stainless steel which is a standard uh, in the industry today and uh, yeah it comes on a rubber band and uh, it's powered by a Seiko NH 35 moment. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit later, but overall I just want to give you uh, a little bit more technical details. Uh, so the crystal on this watch is not sapphire crystal, it's a mineral hardened crystal just like on Seiko's, most of the Seiko watches. Uh, the aluminum bezel insert, uh, the bezel is really really i'm gonna go over the stuff i like on this watch and later on we'll talk i'll talk about the stuff i don't like uh the bezel action is really really nice on this one it's much better and much smoother than on uh, my orient tray so that's a definitely a plus on it but however there are some things on the bezel i don't like and it's not alignment because I don't give a crap about alignment not that the alignment on this one is not good alignment is correct but even if it wasn't I wouldn't be uh, crying about it um, it's just me I don't like that uh, and uh, yeah the case finish is pretty much brushed stainless steel all the way across the board here and uh, the case back has a case procedural case back which is always a cool thing uh, I just love procedural case backs even though the movement is not hot horology it still is horology and this is a great movement by Seiko uh, this movement uh, is uh, developed by Seiko and uh, it's it's been put in many Seiko divers and many other watches as well it's also handable and 
hackable and that's so much important to many people so I had to I want to mention it but you can see the custom spinner co logo here uh, which is really neat and it's not black I think this is a like it's the same color as this a leather band on it so yeah it has 24 jewels uh, it's a Seiko NH 35A movement and you can see the ball bearings on the router I, don't, I really, really like that uh, it's very smooth watch so uh, when you have a watch with Seiko movement inside um, you don't have to worry about uh, reliability, uh, toughness and stuff like that because Seiko has a long tradition of making movements and I think it's a right way either get a Miyoda or a Seiko's movement in your micro brand and you are pretty much good to go set. This movement uh, is comparable to ETA 2024-2 movements and lots of pop folks are saying they like this one more or they are pretty much um, comparable in terms of the sizes so yeah the, I covered the crystal let's cover the, uh, the dial uh, let me just there were a little bit specks of dust or it's on my phone uh, nevertheless uh, I don't like that uh, and some people may think it's on the dial uh, so we have applying this is over the dial, uh, spinnaker, automatic pull, 200 meter water resistant uh, dial. Here it says, uh, I like this indices and I like the hands. There's a, a little bit of a, a loom on the hands on this watch. And uh, the loom is, I like the, I like the indices and the hands, it's because uh, it's it's kind of unique and it's not your typical Rolex knockoff uh, dial. Uh, the room here on this one watch is it glows in the dark, but uh, it's not very uh, strong. Uh, definitely not strong like Seiko watch, any Seiko watch. So uh, that's the thing I don't like about it. One of the things I don't like about it. Uh, I like the chapter ring here. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, the date feature here, uh, it has a little frame around the date, which is a neat feature. Uh, sometimes in watches, uh, this date uh, frame tends to fall off, but only time will tell. I liked it. I definitely like when there is a date. Um, here, the crown it has uh, the Spinnaker uh, sail logo and uh, Spinnaker is a sponsor of yachting and if you are into yachting you know you heard about Spinnaker before uh, the crown here I'll just show you it's a screw down crown of course on the dial watch it has to be this is a 200 meter water resistant dial watch and it's very smooth crown uh, so you pull it off on the first position and you change the date it's very convenient and in the second position change the hands so let's put it on this here let's put it like this so yeah like you can see when you pull out the crown the second hand stops and that's what you call hacking for some people it's much very important for me it's not that so I prefer when it has a manual wound feature and it's very smooth uh, manual wound however uh, I do not recommend wound manually wounding automatic watches they are not just they are not engineered to do that uh, let me just show you the crown it's very smooth and a couple of turns and it will go lock in place in position and your watch is safe to go in the water um, with is 22 mils uh, pretty much standard and it's very cool uh, the bezel has aluminum insert in it and uh, has this little bit long pip here on the top and uh, 
the band is a leather band uh, it's a waterproof leather band it's a water resistant leather so it's been treated and made to be more water resistance however i feel that on a dye watch you should have uh, bracelet a stainless steel bracelet or a nato strap speaking of natos this watch comes with a spear nato um, so yeah you have here a spinnaker and here you have a signed buckle as well so it's a, it's a nice touch uh, let me just show you the spear nato uh, until I didn't forgot because I wanted to show you this one and this is the box it comes in uh, nothing to write home about but it's a nice box has a nice white pillow uh, and you you get a free Zulu band in the cover of the bezel and uh, you get a little strap changing tool here as well Let me just zoom in this so you get a free strap changing tool which I won't use because I have the big guns here so yeah let me just put that aside and uh, you get a nice Zulu band which I will try it on and show you the later on but yeah that's it that's it for now uh, now I wanna uh, change the strap and give you I wanna give you a bunch of wrist shots uh, change the strap to show you how it looks on the NATO and also I have a cool mesh band here uh, shark ma uh, this is a Milanese mesh which I used on my Brightwing and I kept it um, and I will show you how the watch looks like on those so stay tuned and uh, just so here it is here's the first look the watch when you get it from and out of the box it's on this leather band leather band is very thick and sturdy uh, however uh, there are things I don't like about it I don't like this blue stitching the, this blue stitching just uh, annoys me and this here um, I'm, I'm I'm I was never a big fan of blue color and this is that blue type of blue color I'm not a fan of however I can see how people uh, can like it and I do wear it I think it looks best on this um, on this band because I tried it on a bunch of different stripes uh, as well uh, so yeah uh, this is it uh, so I don't like this blue combination and I don't like this blue shade of blue color on this bezel but that's that's I understand that's uh, completely subjective to me uh, and it's it's up to me it's not it's not you guys it's me uh, so yeah uh, I don't like this color blue however there is a one really nice spinnaker spans with the white dial and the uh, orangey bezel that one is to kill for and I would definitely uh, love that one much more however I understand most people like black watches so this one's a cool but I do like white I will try to roll in the photos or just show you somewhere but it's a really cool combo um, so yeah that's it this is the first look the band is okay and another another thing I'm not a fan of this on this watch is there is no serrations on the side on the edge of the bezel so when you grip it when you grip the bezel you need to squeeze and it's not bezel is very smooth uh, like I said much better than orange tree and orange tree has those little serrations but um, this one hasn't and it's it's easier to turn but I would prefer to see some coin edging around this here and I just swapped the straps and uh, here it is on the NATO strap actually this is a Zulu band that comes as a gift in the watch box super nice quality uh, and uh, I, I gotta say I'm not the biggest fan of the blue car 
and blue watches uh, just I'm just don't but I gotta say this looks pretty sexy on my wrist and I I was very skeptic because of lots of blue but right now I'm digging it and it's much more comfortable than the leather band and I feel it's much more suitable for summer uh, than the leather one uh, just because uh, it's uh, it's a needle, it's a, it's a, it's a Zool, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry Zool guys, uh, th uh, this is a Zool, uh, and uh, super nice. Uh, the final verdict, uh, this watch uh, feels solid, especially when you take it off the leather band, you can feel it's a solid chunk of uh, steel uh, made with the solid movement, uh, with the solid... Uh, solid bands and uh, for 240 dollars i believe and maybe you can find some discount cones online uh you could get a great cool watch that's not your seiko sks and i think that's the best thing about it i had a seiko sks and after every watch newbie jumped on it i just had to get rid of it